you Saturday night, so got it with you. Hi everybody, how you all doing today? I hope that your day is going well. This is your girl, your lady Unravel Miata. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So here on my channel, I talk about Jesus, fashion, and lifestyle. And today we happen to be talking about lifestyle. And today's topic is boundaries. Today I wanted to talk about the intricacies, the um, something that's very important that can make or break in a relationship. Too often in our relationships, we we forget the importance of boundaries, even with our family or our loved ones or coworkers. Boundaries is something that's necessary. Not a, you know, sometimes we say, oh, these are common sense things. Truth is, common sense is not common to everybody. In some cases, we don't even establish boundaries. And in other cases, we either ignore them or deny that there actually are boundaries. For my queens, whether or not you're just dating a guy or you're in an actual relationship or just hanging out, establishing boundaries is very, very, very vital in that relationship. Because That's the latter days of your relationship, believe it or not. What exactly is boundary? Boundary is a state of personal and mutual respect. A boundary can also be described as a demonstration of self-respect and also respect for others. Boundaries keep us safe from internal and also external um, intrusion. I would say setting boundaries and also putting things in place that way you you know what people are to expect what you can accommodate and what you can tolerate these are three things that i think that it's important for us to think about like one thing a very a wise man once said he said um do not tolerate what you cannot accommodate so if you're tolerating certain things from certain people at an early stage best believe that down the road you're going to be the one to accommodate those things. Because if you're tolerating somebody speaking to you in a disrespectful manner right now, if you're tolerating somebody making plans with you, say, oh, girl, I'm going to pick you up at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock comes, no call, no show. Maybe two days later or the day after, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. Well, I'm sorry, this and this happened on more than one occasion. And you keep saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay. You are tolerating it now. Best believe when you guys do get into a serious relationship or when you do get married, those are things that you're going to have to accommodate, you're going to have to deal with. So I think that setting boundaries at an early stage in a relationship is very important. Um, one thing that comes with boundaries, I don't know if, if it really relates to it, but setting expectations. One thing I think comes with boundaries, one thing I believe comes with boundaries is setting expectations of what somebody should expect from you and vice versa okay so initial state of a relationship you set it out you let it be known like what you will tolerate what you want what people are to expect and what they should expect from you and vice versa um some of the things that i do that are practical let's say i first started let's say if you're dating a guy something that i do um I do not make it a habit of being on the phone with men. I don't make it a habit of being on the phone with men past like 10 o'clock. If we're not talking about like just regularly, like my guy friends, they know better than to be hitting up my phone at 10 o'clock or past that. Like if we're, if we're not, if, if it's not like a prayer line or if we're not doing anything that's relevant to kingdom business, even at that sometimes we can wait till tomorrow. Um, I think that it's very important for us as young women to be able to set boundaries like that. If it's not your your boyfriend, if it's not somebody that maybe your fiance or your husband, I don't personally, to each his own, um, I don't believe that it's okay for young single girls to allow young men to be calling them past 10 p.m. What exactly are we talking about after 10 o'clock? You know after 10 o'clock, people's voices start changing, honey. You know, my voice sounds glorious after 10. You know, it sounds sexy after 10. Can we just be, can we just keep it 100 for a second? So like, I will not let you lost over my voice. And you, and I will not be lost over your own voice. Anyway, I'm just being silly. But honestly speaking, what exactly do we have to talk about past 10 o'clock? That cannot wait till next day when the sun is up. Um, those are just things that I think are important to, to put in place. It's because you, you lay out your expectations. I'm not saying you come into a relationship with like 101 
expectations. But there's vital things that as young women, kingdom women, we ought to have when we start dating. Um, we ought to put in place so that these men know, like, okay, this is not one to play around with. You know, expectation is something as um, no sex to marriage. That's an expectation. Boundaries are not necessarily something that is that is um, that is placed as a form of a wall to put people out to shut people out. That's not what boundaries are meant to do. But boundaries are perimeters. They they set per their perimeters as to what territories can people get into. It's not necessarily a wall. I hope we understand that. It's more so of a way of communicating to others that you have self-respect, that you are self-aware, that you know your value, you know what you can bring to the table, and you also know the rule of life, which is to treat others the way you would like to be treated. So if I'm treating you in a respectable manner, I demand the same respect back. As simple as that. Learning to set boundaries, make it known to everybody that you have a positive awareness of self and you know how you're carrying yourself. You know yourself. You like you 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 have discovered who you are. You have identified who this person is and what this person will do, what this person will not do, what this person will tolerate, and what this person will not tolerate. I feel like a lot of young women these days do not know who they are. That and When you don't know who you are, it's easy for you to imitate. It's easy for you to conform so you can fit in. It's easy for you to allow people to treat you anyway, anyhow, talk to you anyway, anyhow, put you in categories that you do not belong in. I refuse to have anybody put me into a box and say, oh, Miata is this or Miata is that. Miata is anything Miata wants to be. Miata is every woman. Miata is much more exceedingly abundantly above all what you can think or ever imagine. Do you understand? Miata is all that God has called Miata to be. So I refuse to allow anybody to put me in a box. And I feel like it's important for us as young women of God to also have that same mindset. For example, in setting boundaries, let's say you're setting boundaries with your sister, your mother, your boyfriend, your intimate partner, your husband. Let's say they have a, a habit of speaking to you in, in a manner that is um, degrading or a, a habit of calling you outside of your name, insulting you or yelling or threatening you. It is up to you to let them know that is that's not going to happen. It's not going to go down like that. I refuse to have you call me anything that is not my mimi ata mimi sandi. Do you understand? Anything that would diminish my character and self-worth is not acceptable. That's one of the boundaries. It is, I think it's very vital in building a relationship with people any type of person, co-workers, new friends that you meet, boyfriend, lovers, family, f friends. Let them know that these are boundaries that, um, boundaries that they must adhere to in order for you both, for that relationship to work. Now let's, let's, let's understand that once you have made your boundaries clear to people that you will not accept certain behaviors, you talk to that boyfriend of yours, let them know, you letting me, you standing me up, Telling me you're going to pick me up on a date, not calling me. You know what I mean? You disrespecting me. You not doing the things that you're supposed to do as a man or guy, as whoever that you are, whoever that guy is. They're not going to necessarily like that boundary of yours. They're not going to necessarily agree with it. Do you understand? So be aware of that and be prepared for that when you set your boundaries. Why? Because these are probably things that you have already tolerated in the past. So now that you have established it, people, people are not the best when it comes to change. So it's important that in the initial state of every relationship, you begin to set boundaries and let people know what you will or will not accept. Let's say you have, um, you have accepted abuse for a long time. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Maybe you have accepted abuse from a, a, for a long time. And we all see abuse in a different way. Um, there's this organization... The um, domestic violence wears many, many tags. Abuse can come in a form of physical abuse, mental abuse, um, sexual abuse. Abuse comes, it definitely has different tags. So, um, and sometimes when we spend so much time, when you've been in a relationship so long, you become accustomed to the treatment, you become accustomed to the things that go on into that relationship. It is until you step outside of that relationship or you allow somebody else to view your relationship and they begin to point out, girl, hmm, it's okay if he yells at you. 
Oh no, I saw him pushing your head. Is that okay? Not necessarily them antagonizing your relationship. But when these things are pointed out to you, like, oh, I guess it's not normal after all. You know, I guess him speaking to me like that is not normal after all. Because we become so accustomed to that abuse, we don't see there's anything until someone else calls it out. Now when that happens and you begin to do and then you now you want to establish your um your boundaries with that person right it's not going to be an easy thing they're going to definitely resist because we're human beings and not everybody can adapt to change just like that and that's okay that's okay when that resistance come that's okay but it's up to you to stand your ground it is it is very vital that even in that moment that you stand your ground and you make it known that nothing is going to change my mind is not going to change this is how i feel this is what I'm requesting. And if we cannot come to, an, to a mutual understanding that moving forward, I will not be accepting this, then I think it's better that we just part ways. Not everybody's meant to stay in your life forever. Um, they're, they're seasonal people. They're lifetime people. Some people come into your life for a certain season. And they come to fulfill purpose. Whether it's negatively or positively, they come to fulfill a purpose. Maybe you grew in a relationship that was very unhealthy. You understand? For a long time. And now that relationship is done. It came to make you stronger. It, made to, it came to let you understand these are things that I will tolerate in my next relationship. These are things I will not tolerate. There are people who come into your life and they're like the most amazing people that you've ever met. And maybe something happens and now you guys are not friends anymore. You part ways. That doesn't mean that you create hate in your heart or you harbor um, anger or unforgiveness within you. No, we have to understand to let people go. And once we have that understanding that people are seasonal and people are lifetime people, we um, it makes life easier for us. And when you do find the people who are lifetime people, I suggest, I urge you to hold on to them. I think it's very important to have a boundary um, when it comes to your heart. Uh, scripture talks about us guarding our hearts. And when I think of guarding a heart, I think of you protecting it. Because the Bible says the heart of mine is so deep. And with female and male dynamic, men, men think things while women we feel things. So times when you're in a relationship and we, 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 um, we tend to deny the truth of the fact we tend to deny it and say oh um maybe it's just me maybe i'm just bugging if we're like let me just be practical i, I was in a relationship a while back years ago and me and this person had such a a a connection I'm telling you, we'd be on the phone for two, three hours talking about any and everything. That was like my, my best friend, my homie. But it came to a point where I had to realize that this person is not right for me. As much as my feelings and my emotions, I was feeling it, wanted to stay in a relationship, I had to come to an actualization that this is not for me. This is not the will of God for me so with that being said i had to start putting up boundaries and when i placed my boundaries there was definitely rebellion from the other party and they were not they did they did not want to deal with it and that made my decision even easier from walking away from that relationship and um as women sometimes we see the obvious things but we refuse to tell ourselves that we refuse to tell ourselves the truth because for one or more reason maybe we're, we're just like soul tie gets in the way i'm gonna do a video about soul tie a video just completely about soul tie so we can really get an understanding soul tie is a dangerous thing it can be it's, it's a good thing when you're married but when you're unmarried and you're intimate with a partner soul tie can be very it can be very damaging but um i digress i believe that um in relationships it is important that we're honest with ourselves and we don't come into a relationship with, like, if you're dating a guy and you're this girl who loves the Lord and you, you meet a guy and you really like him and in your head you're saying, well, I can change him. I can, I can bring him to church. All of a sudden, this guy's coming to church every Sunday and everybody's like, oh, wow, this guy's coming to church every single Sunday. I've never seen this before. He's changing. He's changing. And then two, three months down the line, there's not really change. There's not really this. There's no fruits to really show the change that this guy is changing. But within ourselves, we want to believe that he's changing because his church attendance is a one. Queens, you can never change a guy. 
You're not God. You're not the Holy Spirit. You're never going to be able to change a man unless he wants to change. And you're never going to make a man come to God unless the Holy Spirit does his work. Because it is not us that does the internal changing. Let's be honest with ourselves. And um, I know the struggles were out here with the single ladies. But I urge for us to be patient. I urge for us to set boundaries. I urge for us to be disciplined women. You know what I mean? I, I, that's one thing I admire about myself. Not to toot my own horn, but I think in me being disciplined with my relationship with the opposite sex has helped me out a lot. A lot. Because there are things that I would have been involved in that um, would not have been very well. But I caught that years ago and I'm like, ah. Uh -uh. Me talking to, to a guy after 9 o'clock. There was even this guy I was talking to. I, when I said his brother was fine, I mean, God really just took his time on Sunday to just create him. But he and I started talking. And then the first day I told him, I'm like, I don't talk to guys after 9 p.m. Yo, I was ghosted after that, bruh. That guy did not call me, did not text me ever again. He's like, ah, who is this eh, 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 Captain America? Who is this eh, 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 soja woman that did this? Anyway, point blank period, he wasn't he wasn't feeling it. He wasn't feeling the idea of him not calling me after nine o'clock. And that's okay. What's for you it will stay for you. That's the thing. Like women we, we always think that things are our fault. The man that is for you, any situation, any predicament, any rule that you give him, he would adhere to. And even if they're faking in due time, it will show because I have the understanding. I believe in this thing that there's nothing that's in a, everything that's in the dark must come to light. You will fake as much as you want to fake, but one day the truth will come out. Do you understand? So I think that it's vital that we um, set boundaries in our relationships, whether it's boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, dating relationship, mother and daughter, co-workers, new friendship. It's important you, you set boundaries, you let people know what you accept, what you want, what you tolerate, and what you will not tolerate. And life will be definitely easy for us. And I want to leave us with this quote one more time. Do not accommodate what you cannot tolerate. If you know that you're not going to be able to tolerate it years from now, do not accommodate it now. Um, people treat you the way you allow them to treat you. If you carry yourself with respect and you have boundaries and let people, you have expectations for people, they have no choice but to adhere to that expectation. All right, I hope this really helps you guys. Let's make it a discussion. Comment down below and let's just talk. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Until next time, ladies, you have an arrival day. Well, I want you, I wanted to show y'all my hairstyle. Yes. From the side. Yes. I'm giving you face. Yes. What is this called? Marley hair? I did it myself. It took me about seven hours to do everything. The first time I did it, it was really, really long. And it took me like a day and a half. But this one only took me seven hours. And today I decided to do something different with it. As opposed to just putting it in a bun or just letting it down. Okay, anyways. Again, thank you guys for listening. I love you guys. Have an arrival day.